Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell tutorial video. In this PowerShell tutorial video, we'll be going over a user request. Uh, this was requested by Subendu. Uh, the question was, if we have multiple CSV files uh, and we want to combine them into one, uh, and specifically just really get one column from all the, all the files and combine them, even if there are nulls in that uh, column, so we will be doing that. I'll just be doing it with two files and then we'll just copy these files to make about four or five different files. Um, and in these files, I currently have an ID, a name, an age, and a country. Uh, but some people I actually do not have a age for, so that would be the null values. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be combining these two files into one CSV file. Now, I'm also going to be showing you how you would combine them and then only select one column if you only wanted that one column as well. So let's go ahead and let's actually get started on this here. Uh, so we have the two files. So what we're going to want to do is just create our first variable, which is going to be the file folder path. Now this is going to be the path to those two files. So for me, that's going to be my C drive users and select my user desktop csv combiner and then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and grab those files so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do files equals get child item and we're going to specify the path of file folder path and then we are going to do uh, we're going to do a filter and we only want the star.csv. So this will only grab CSV files because in that folder, I also have my combiner.ps1 and we do not want to grab that file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just create a result variable. And we're going to make that equal to a system.collections.arraylist. And we're just going to set that to an empty array list. And then what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the file. So we're going to do for each file in files. And now if we just run that here. Perfect. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do that the result is plus equals import CSV. And we're going to do the path. We're going to do file dot full name, which is going to point us to the whole, the full path to the file. And then the delimiter for that is going to be in commas. Uh, so that should be good. So if we just run this here, and then we look at what our result variable is, we are going to see that we actually have the two files now combined. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to pipe that to a export CSV and path. Now for path, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at the same location. So we're going to do file folder path and then backslash. And we're just going to do result.csv. We're going to use the delimiter of a comma. And then we're going to specify uh, no type information. So if we just run that here we get our result.csv which has all the data from these two files combined together now we could in fact um, just create a bunch of these copies here and then if we just delete this result.csv And we look at it now. Now we have all that data from all those different files. So you can do this for as little as one file if you wanted that, um, up to as many files as you would really want, and then just export that to the CSV. Now, if you were looking to do exactly what Suvendu was asking, um, which is just selecting the specific column, all you would have to do is from result, you would just do the select object. And let's say we only want the name field. We're just going to do select object and then name. 
or you can do select object and uh, yeah, just select object and then name. And then if we export that, all we get now are the names. And then if we wanted, we can also do just for the column that had null values, we could do the result select age and export that. And there we can actually see that we have some null values in here. So that is working correctly. Now, of course, if you have, if you're putting that CSV file in the same folder, you will be constantly grabbing that result. So what I would do is probably just specify here file. So this way we're not grabbing the result file or put that result file somewhere else. And then you would be fine um, for that. So that should be good. So all you really need to do is grab the files that you want, create a new empty array list, and then just keep adding the import CSV into that array list and then export it with selecting the column. So that would be how you uh, just combine multiple CSVs together into one file and then select also just one column. If you guys have any questions um, about this video, just let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely do my best to answer them. If you have any questions regarding uh, PowerShell, just leave them in the comments down below as well. Just like Suvendu did, if I find that this the question would have benefit to a lot of viewers, I will be making a video on it. Um, so just make sure that you like and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.